the greatest science objective is 2024. Number one, this is the process by which liquid changes into vapor at a particular temperature, as known as. So we have boiling, condensation, evaporation, and then melting. And the answer to question one is E, boiling. Question two, each of the following organisms has neither a nucleus nor membrane bound organisms. So A, we have bacteria, E, mucor, C, paramecium, D, spirogyra. And the answer to question two as well is A, bacteria. Question three, Ediba is used for A, the husking, B, pruning, C, thinning, D, planting. The answer to question three is D, planting. Question four, which involves a little bit of calculation. An electric bulb is rated 120 watts and 240 volts. Determine the current it draws from its means. So the power is 120 watts. Then the potential difference is 240 volts. Determine its current. Now, this formula I'm used for this calculation. It is P equals I times V. I know a lot of students are aware of V equals IR. So you can add this as well, P equals IV. We need a current, so we need to make I the sum bit. So divide both sides by V. So V cancels V. So I equals P is 120 over V is 240. Now, we cancel out 120 a 1, 120 a 2, so we have 0 0.5. So our answer to question 4 is A, 0 0.5 ampere. Question 5, it says that the layer of the atmosphere in which air travel is most convenient is A, mesosphere, B, stratosphere, C, thermosphere, D, troposphere. The answer to question 5 is D, troposphere. Question 6. An agricultural system in which crops and animals are produced on the same piece of land at the same time is termed A. Continuous cropping B. Mixed cropping C. Mixed farming D. Pastoral farming The answer to question 6 is Mixed farming Question 7. Cowpea plants are used in crop rotation system of farming so that A. Grazing animals would not destroy the crops. B. Nitrates would be added to the soil. C. Soil erosion could be checked. D. Weeds could be suppressed. Cowpea plants are used in crop rotation system of farming so that B. Nitrates would be added to the soil. Cowpea is a legume. Question 8. The angle of reflection is 40 degrees. Determine the angle between the surface of the mirror and the ray. So this is how it is drawn. So this is the surface of the mirror. So the angle of reflection of a ray is 40 degrees. So the angle of reflection? 40. What is your normal? Yes. Angle of reflection is 40 degrees. Determine the angle between the surface of the mirror and the ray. So this is it. What they want is actually the angle of Incidence. So the angle of incidence is also A, 40 degrees. Next question. Fluids consist of A, solids and liquid only. B, liquid and gas only. C, gas and solid only. D, liquid, solid and gas. Fluids are actually liquids and gases. So number nine is B. Question 10. 
Which of the following compounds is a neutral oxide? Which of the following is a neutral oxide? So A, we have carbon dioxide, B, nitrox oxide, C, magnesium oxide, and D, carbon monoxide. The answer to question 10 is D, carbon monoxide. Question 11, for grafting to be successful, the sion and the stock must be of the same. So A, we have size, B, length. C. Diameter. D. Texture. Now the answer to question 11 is C. Diameter. Question 12. A gas that gives a pop sound with a flame is. A gas that gives a pop sound with a flame is. A. Ammonia. B. Carbon dioxide. C. Hydrogen. D. Nitrogen. The answer to question 12 is C. Hydrogen. Question 13. 15 children from a class are tongue rollers. Simply means able to roll their tongue. They are tongue rollers. What percentage of the class are rollers? 15 children from a class out of 45 are tongue rollers. So you have a class of 45, which is the total. 15 of them are tongue rollers. What's the percentage of the class that are rollers? Now, this is basic mathematics, so ratio and um, proportion. Anytime question is asked about percentage, always take note that the total number of personnel involved is also is always equal to 100%. So if 45 equals 100, then 50 equals something we don't know. Now, what do we want? We want less. If less, more divide. So if less, the more, which is the 45, over. 15 over 45, not 500. Now, 15 times 100 is 1500 over 45. Your answer is going to be 33.3 percent. In 14, the major cause of Gustavus loss of stored millet in Ghana is the high humidity. Once there is humidity, you are going to get spots. Question 15. Examples of plants with rhizome are A. Ginger and fern. B. Onion and ginger. C. Yam and Irish potato. D. Onion and fern. The answer to question 15 is A. Ginger and fern. Question 16. The management practice which makes the transport of animals easy is the management practice which makes the transport of farm animals easy is a castration b dehorning c identification d quarantine the management practice which makes transport of farm animals easy is this b dehorning when the animals are dehorned it's easy to handle them question 17 breeds of fowl breeds of fowl which are red for the purpose of producing meat are called a broilers b chicks c hens d layers breeds of fowls which are red for the purpose of producing meat are called 17a broilers 18 the setup used to separate water from ethanol should include a separating funnel b burette c condenser d volumetric flask the setup needs to separate water from ethanol should include C. Condenser. Question 19. Which of the following statements about sea breeze are correct? Sea breeze occurs I. During the day, I. I. During the night, I. 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 As a result of convection current. So, question 19. Sea breeze occurs during the day that's true it doesn't occur during the night and it occurs as a result of convection current so the answer to question 19 is i and i i i so it's b question 20 mineral salts from the soil pass into the root hair cells by a tegel pressure b 
active transport C osmosis D capillary mineral salt from the soil passes into the root hair cells by B active transport question 21 which of the following salts can cause temporary hardness of in water A magnesium hydrogen trioxocarbonate Then B, um, ion 3 sulfate, then C, magnesium chloride, then D, calcium sulfate. Now, question 21. The answer is A. In 22, an example of inorganic fertilizer is A, compost, B, farmyard manure, C, grain manure, D, urea. An example of inorganic fertilizer is the urea. Question 23. Two resistors, 5 ohm, are connected in parallel. Determine their effective resistance. So, resistors connected in parallel, this is the formula 1 over RT is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. But in this question, we are told that both of them are 5 ohms. So 1 over RT equals 1 over 5 plus 1 over 5. So 1 over 5, LCM is 5, 1 plus 5 here, 1 plus 1. We are going to have 2 over 5. 1 over RT. equals 2 over 5. Now, when we make RT the subject, we're going to have RT equals 5 over 2. Now, 5 over 2, when you work it out on the calculator, we're going to have 2.5. So the answer to question 23 is A, 2.5 ohms. 24, a person who suffers from myopia. A, cannot see at all. B, cannot see clearly from afar. C, and see clearly objects closer. D. Where's a conversion lens for correction? Now, a person who suffers from myopia. Myopia is short sightedness. So, a person who can see clearly objects closer. Question 24 is C. Question 25. An example of wind instruments is A. Flute. B. Guitar. C. Violin. D. Xylophone. Question 25. It's a flute. So you have to blow into it. 26. Which of the following statements about compounds are correct? I. They are products of chemical combination. They are constants are present in fixed ratio by mass. I, I, I. They are constants keep their individual properties. So, question 26. Looking through. I is correct. I, I is also correct. So question 26 answer is A. Question 27. The equivalent of 161 Kelvin in degrees Celsius is. In order to be able to do this, we need to know the formula is this. The Celsius equals K minus 273 Kelvin. So in order to get a degree Celsius, C equals what we have here is 161 Kelvin. So 161 minus 273. Now C will be equal to, if we do our calculation right, we are going to have negative 112 degrees Celsius. So our answer to question 27 is C. 20. Which of the following processes use solar energy? I. Drying materials. I. I. Generating of electricity. I. 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 Heating of food substances. The answer to question 28 is B because they are all correct. Question 29. Fragility in plants is the result of A. Water entering the cells. B. Water leaving the cells. C. The withdrawal of cytoplasm from the cell wall. D. Diffusion of materials into the cell. Question 29. 
fragility in plants is as a result of A. Water entering the cells. So it's A. So let's see which of the following non metals conducts electricity. A. Diamond. B. Graphite. C. Silicon. D. Vanadium. Which of the following non metals conducts electricity? The answer to question 30 is B. Graphite. 31. The main function of the ileum in mammals is A. Digestion and assimilation. B. Assimilation and absorption. C. Digestion and absorption. D. Ingestion and digestion. The answer to question 31 is C. Digestion and absorption. Then 32. Living organisms which help to modify the physical and chemical composition of the soil are I. Earthworms. I. I. Lichens. I. 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 Bacteria. Earthworm modifies lichens also modify, bacteria also modify. So they are alright. So the answer to question 32 is D. Question 33. Organic chemistry. Something you should master if you want to write widely debated science. So that you pack name of the compound whose structure formula is what you have below is so first of all we have double bond so it's an alkene so we are going to have in as part of the name now the next thing is look at the position of the double bond so when you start counting from here is one two when you start counting from here as well it's also one two so you can just pick any part now another thing we also need to focus on is the Absequent. Now you have halogen here, you have an alkyl group here. Now, according to the rules, name the halogen first before you name the alkyl group. So, um, we know it's an in, yeah, double bond, but this is going to be two chloro, two chloro, two chloro something. So, two chloro. Two chloro. The alkyl group is now found on the third because this is our starting point. We move in this direction. So the alkyl group is found on the third carbon. So it's two chloro, three now this alkyl group is called methyl or methyl, whatever you call it. So two chlo, three methyl. How many carbons do you have? The longest carbon chain. One, two, three, four. Two chlo, three methyl. You either say two butene or but two in. But two in. So looking through, so but two in. If you don't understand organic chemistry, kindly go through my videos you find organic chemistry and you have to go through the videos in that one as you just pick one you might not get the understanding so the answer to question 33 is a 34 organic compounds are mostly a soluble in water b not inflammable c covalent d organic organic compounds are mostly c covalent 35. Which of the following components of electromagnetic spectrum has the highest frequency? So we have A gamma rays, B infrared, then C microwave, and D ultraviolet radiation. 35. Which of the following compounds of the electromagnetic spectrum has the highest frequency? So the answer to question 35 is A gamma rays. 36. In mammals, the organ which eliminates excess amino acid to form urea is there. So, the organ that deaminates excess amino acid to urea is A. Kidney. B. Liver. C. Pancreas. B. Spleen. And that's question 36 is B. The liver. 37. Maintenance ration. Provide farm animals with nutrients required for 
Maintenance version provides permanent in terms of like AA production and vital body processes. See growth and development, development and maturity. The answer to question 37 is C. Growth and development. 38. Which of the following compounds is hydrocarbon? Which of them is a hydrocarbon? The one which is a hydrocarbon is one that contains hydrogen and carbon only. So which of them contain hydrogen and carbon only? We have question 39. The characteristic feature of metamorphic and sedimentary rocks is that they are A. Crystalline in nature, non-crystalline in nature, glassy in appearance, or D, metallic in appearance. So looking through the characteristic feature of metamorphic and sedimentary rocks is that they are A. Crystalline in nature. 40. An example of naturally occurring weak acid is so ammonia, citric acid, hydrochloric acid, nitric acid. So the correct answer is B. Citric acid. Question 41. The number of electrons present in the outermost shell of an element with atomic number of 20 is. So 2. That's for the first. 8. 8. So this gives you 18. 2. So the last shell takes 2. So question 41 is A. 42. The neutrons and protons in the nucleus of an atom are collectively called A. Mass number. B. Neutrons. C. Neutrons. D. Atomic number. Question 42. The answer is neutrons. 43. Energy output in a device is equal to work done by. So energy output in a device is equal to work done A. By the load. B. On the load. C. By the effort. D. On the effort. Energy output equals. Work done by the load. So question 43, the answer is A. 44. The shape of the lens of the human eye is varied by the action of the A. Iris, B. Pupil, C. Ciliary muscle, D. Suspensory ligament. Question 44, the answer is C. Ciliary muscle. 45. Which of the following organelles is the size of protein synthesis? So A. Golgi body. B. Mitochondrion. C. Nucleus. D. Ribosome. Answer to question 45 is D. Ribosome. 46. Thelene solution is used in the laboratory to test for the presence of. Thelene solution is used to test for A. Fats. B. Starch. C. Reducing sugars. D. Fatty acid. Question 46. The answer is C. Reducing sugars. 47. Two of the following quantities have both magnitude and direction. Have both magnitude and direction. So we have I displacement, I I speed, I I I momentum. So question 47. This has displacement has both magnitude and direction, speed doesn't, then momentum also has magnitude and direction. So the answer to question 47 is B. 48. A group of organs which form part of the central nervous system are the A. Brain, eyes and the ears. B. Brain in the spinal cord. C. Brain, ears in the spinal cord. D. Eyes. Spinal cord. So the group of organs which form part of the central nervous system. 48 is B. Brain and spinal cord. Forty-nine. Proteins are usually made up of A. Sulfur, carbon and nitrogen. B. Carbon, hydrogen and nitrogen. C. Carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. D. Oxygen, carbon and sulfur. Question 49. Protein is made up of A. Sulfur, carbon, and nitrogen. Question 50. 
Any of the following characteristics are correct about dairy cattle. They have I large adder, I I long legs, I I I wedged body. So question fifty. Which of them is correct for dairy cattle? Dairy cattle produce milk, so they have large adder. That's true. They also have long legs, and they also have a wedged body. So question fifty. The answer is D.